Football for Peace originally came from the University of Brighton who did their first um, project over in Israel and the theory behind it was to um, help provide an opportunity for Arabic and Jewish children in Israel to just come together and play football. About four and a half years ago now, we were invited to come over and help set up um, Football for Peace Island and, and help go through the, the methodology and the ideas behind it with the coaches. We've got Karen Donner Community School, Lima Valley Grammar, St Mary's and uh, Cranach College will be in one section. They'll all completely mix. They have to work together, they have to get to know each other. It's the simple things that everybody tends to neglect or take for granted. If you don't hear your name, don't worry about it. You'll still be put into a team at the end. They mixed us up between four different schools and we play with people that we don't really know and then we have to respect them and include them all and passing them and togetherness. England go and put on the green bibs, Finland go and put on the blue bibs, good lads. Over these three years, approximately 1,200 kids have actually taken part, approximately 60 coaches and then the teachers, club coaches and various other people from that. The children in Mavillo, despite the fact they were so close to the north, they don't meet very often children from Limavadi or Coleraine. So the programme gives them that opportunity to actually visit these other schools and actually see how um, school children over there are exactly the same as school children in, in the south. We will have three sessions prior to this year, three club sessions earlier on the year and last year. And this is now a big day for them where we bring them all together for the tournament and all the clubs are involved in there. And through the first three sessions, we have been emphasising the values and hopefully we'll bring it out today in the final tournament. The Football for Peace programme is primarily based on values and they are trust, inclusion, equality, respect and responsibility and just using football as a tool to bring out those values. There's loads of matches and then whoever wins it gets a wee trophy, but it's not about winning, it's about learning the rules and if the best player gets the rules, or if they know the rules the best, they get another wee trophy. John knocked the man down over there and he looked down to see if he was alright and he wasn't worried about the ball. He was the goalkeeper and looked out and you scored from it. Now, do you think was that right? No. No. Alright, it's all about the values of this here, alright? Respect. Responsible. He, was, he looked after the boy who he knocked out, that's all he was worried about. And that's what this is about. Right? So that was a very good, a very good thing that he did. What's, what's your name? Sean. Sean what? Yeah. Sean's saying, very good Sean, that's excellent. All right. So we need to show a bit more of that there, that's a real attitude there. It starts them off on the right road as such, because they're playing the game for the right reasons and it can't uh, reinforce that enough. A lot of the time when the kids are playing football, it's all about winning. And with this programme here, it's all about sharing, it's all about making sure that your friend is getting enough time on the ball, making sure that everybody's been treated fairly. So, I mean, long term, I mean, you're hoping that these kids come away from this, and they have in the, in the years gone by, going away and taking them values on and taking them into their daily life. Football is about development of players, OK, and technically, but it's also about developing the person, and that's far more important in my eyes. And the good players will look after themselves. Most of the players here might, might stop playing football when they're 15 or 16, but hopefully they'll still have them values, which, and they can take them for the rest of their life. Have we seen any of the values come out during that actual game? Loads of passing. Loads of passing. What would that value be? Um, uh, teamwork. Good. Teamwork. Teamwork. Anything else? And the girls seen. <coughs> it's not about winning, it's when you try your best. Exactly. But you notice in some of the kids, the penny drops a lot sooner than others. In the very, very first session, the football's there just in the interaction, and okay, we'll have the tournament at the very end. But then they suddenly realise that there's social values there, there's actual issues that you want to actually have them all to work with. And that penny drops normally about the second week. They get it in the very, very first, but they don't actually properly get it until the second week. And then the third week, they fully integrate and enjoy themselves. And it's through that consistent sort of interactions is what's actually happened. Uh, and you suddenly notice, like even with a coach, you notice with a penny drops, like their face goes, ah, all right, OK. And their attitude and their coaching sort of idealisms change. Creating friendships is a big thing and, and um, we don't actually know who 
the friendship remains with. The programme is bringing people together, making them appreciate that they all have similar interests, that they're able to tolerate each other's different views or attitudes and mix and enjoy each other's company massively. We are here today from School Eastigan in Boncana. The school has a lot of special units, you know, children with special needs. And we've been involved in this programme from the beginning. Uh, it's an excellent programme. The children are learning through the football, the human values, and they really hold strong with them. They love it, they really look forward to it, and they are just having a great time. Italy, Bolivia over pitch one, pitch two, Nigeria against Paraguay. Their trophies for winners. Yeah. What do you think there is all our trophies for? Yeah. So what? Oh, not losers. What is it? Oh, not top goal scorer. Oh, who said it? What is it? What's the trophies for? The International Fund for Ireland was set up some time ago to promote peace and reconciliation. Whenever Damien McCoggan uh, from Football for Peace, the Gateway Project, as it was called at that stage, came along and said, would you be interested in this? I was, of course, interested. Sport has been and is my own personal passion. And growing up in this part of the world, the one thing I took away from it, that my cross-community and cross-border friends were mostly made from having to pass a football to them during a football match. And the idea of taking that notion from a football pitch out into the community seemed just a non-escapable reality. The IFA is obviously very keen to encourage anything that uh, brings people together uh, and particularly children, children of this age, it's a joy to see so many young kids uh, getting something out of football. The lessons they learn about the game now are the lessons that will carry with them all the way through their lives. Well, Sarah is delighted to support the Football for Peace initiative. We have a long history of operating services in the border counties and cross-border services as well. And Football for Peace is all about bringing together communities, getting to work together as a team for the betterment of communities, and that's something that Bus Aaron strongly supports. If you're talking about the kids themselves who not have the chance, we're now getting this kind of chance, hopefully then the next two or three years or four years or even ten years down the line, they'll remember what they've actually learned and they'll be able to take that next step and say, look, here, I'll put those kind of things into practice and say, yeah, it's been a success from there. It's just so fundamental. If two young people can make friends at that age and they, and they learn those values, they learn the idea of the respect, the trust and responsibility. Uh, it's going to take them an awful long way in their lives and their relationships and in their communities. <laughs>